Hello everyone, this is Evo and welcome to today's video. So today's video will be a new series on my channel or rather a brand new series I'd like to try. We'll call it Let's Talk, which is like a podcast where we talk about different topics in Hong Kai Star Wars itself. So together with me, we have my co-host, Mr. Pokey. So Mr. Pokey is a fellow Singaporean friend that plays Hong Kai Star Wars and he's pretty hardcore about it. So I invited him and we're going to talk about today's topic. So without further ado, let us start by... Introducing Mr. Pokey first. Mr. Pokey, please introduce yourself. Right, right. Hello, hello, everyone. Uh, this is Mr. Pokey. Uh, glad to be on board today and have this uh, pretty casual chat about um, any sort of content that we may have about Hong Kai Star Wars. So, <laughs> yeah, Zibo, let, let's take it away with the questions. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So, for, for the question itself, let's start with something I think uh, we have discussed about, which is, uh, you know, the upcoming battle being Jing Yuan. And uh, me being a big fan mm. of Jing Yuan, right, we actually talked about it a few times. Mm. So today's topic will be on you know, whether or not you should save your gems or jades for Ching Yuan or whether or not you should, you know, spend everything on CD and try to max her out from uh, like now, right now in this point of time. So uh, maybe you can mm-hmm. start by your point first, Mr. Poke. Right, right. Uh, I think I think first of all to 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 set like the parameters for people to compare. Right. Uh, you really gotta know like how much pools do you want to allocate between these two banners. So let's say like if you're somebody that already is like wielding super hard, like you're getting like E six delay with the ram file right corners or whatever kind of stuff. Then I think it it, it, does, it really doesn't matter if whichever one you pull, because whichever unit that you have at E six ram file, um, that but that unit is just gonna gonna kick some ass, you know. So. Yeah, I think with when it comes to like a will will standpoint, like which unit should you like E six uh, and rank five the light cone? Uh, I think I really don't think that there's much difference. You're one hundred percent gonna clear the game like super easy mode. Uh, be it Sile or Jingyuan. Yeah, but on the on a perspective where you only really have like uh, let's just say let's just say you hard PD right, like you only have enough for like hundred eighty pulls, and you let's just say you tried to pull for Sile, you you failed the you failed the half half fifty. So now you are left with another ninety pulls. So for the next ninety pulls, you are either gonna get Sile or you're gonna get Jing. And you're in this situation, which one would you pick? Um, if you are in this um scenario, uh, personally for me, I feel that um I am more towards uh the bias of Sile because right now uh, my account has a e e e zero and rank one light cone Sile. Uh, I haven't really I've never really messed with Jingyuan before because I only seen like gameplay views of of his kit in CBT, but I've never personally experienced him. But from uh, where I am right now, where I when I'm playing the game, uh, I I would say that having Sile is really like a night and day difference to an account that does not have Sile. Um, so okay, I'm not really one, sure. I can I, I can yeah. sort of like. Give my opinion because my account doesn't have CD. So sure, my sure, point sure. is I am trying yeah, yeah, yeah. to save for Jing Yuan and I'm trying to try to max out his idol loans and stuff by getting repeated copies, right? Mm-hmm. So I think I'm kind of struggling with Memory of Chaos. Like I do think that she's a very important unit there, at least at this point in time. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So yeah, you can continue speaking. Yes. Wait. Okay. Okay. So yeah. Uh, I think just just based on like like results like results wise, uh, an account that doesn't have CD right now is 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 like uh, will have more difficulties. Not say it's impossible because there's already people like free to play players like see all the CN BDB website. They are already clearing like Forgotten Hall fifteen without even doing a single pull on a Gaja banner. So um, you definitely can play the game without Sile. And but it just really comes down to like your your gaming experience, you know. So like for for me, I feel that Sile really just makes the game more fun. Like just seeing her go like ten turns after, especially if you have like Bronya or Tingyuan, and you just see like the big damage from Sile. Yeah, it's very satisfying for me. Whereas Tingyuan, uh, from what I gather, like his kit is is this um really based on the his his um lightning god standing. Like he summons this this uh, fifth fifth unit for fourteen essentially, yeah, and then effect. he was yeah yeah yeah. So like um it's a lot of things are based on this uh, lightning lots attack like his follow-up damage and his uh, whatever so his skills and ultimate all revolve around buffing this lightning lo- like lightning god so um from like a gameplay perspective i think it's just like slightly slower because like uh, a lot of content like maybe if you want to do farming or your story stages your lightning not might not really get to like his okay like because he, he makes like 10 stacks to his like follow-up attacks right so like when he, he really starts to shine for those like really long long boss fights like if you're fighting coco for the first time this kind of stuff uh yeah i think i think lightning god will, will do a lot, a lot of value but for like those shorter fights I, I don't really think you'll get to see that big of a impact until it, it drags on so in that sense i would prefer like more immediate results right like Sile, like all she needs to just kill enemy and just keep going and going again mm. so yeah that's my perspective of why i would prefer e0 Sile for for now for now yeah okay so like maybe maybe let me like, i'll just talk about like what i 
think or rather what's my perspective of um like why i'm going for Jingen. okay because for for Celie's case right Celie hits really hard as a single target but she's also able to function as sort of like an aoe attacker but if you look at the current pool of evolution units right they're all pretty shitty like okay i think right mm -mm -mm. in cbt okay so i'm a cbt player like servos kit i think it didn't really change too much from cbt it got a little better definitely and a lot of people are saying that servo is really good so servo is like okay himiko is like literally trash all right you don't want to pull for her as a five star character so we don't talk about her but i think if you max her out she's gonna be really good but if most people's case people are using servo right now for their area attacker or maybe using Qing Chui because her ta is literally shit right so you look at the pool of iridition unit they are like kind of like meh and weak but Jingyuan is like this Eudition unit that is able to do AoE stuff and do decent single target damage. So he's got to be very flexible in like a lot of different game modes to my perspective. And obviously, I think Lightning Element as an offensive element is quite powerful as well. So that's why I'm going to like invest in him. And the thing about Jingyuan is, right, the reason why I'm saving so much is because I honestly want to get uh, E6. But because E6 is where he truly shines, right? So if you go from a perspective of like maybe E0 or E1, then I guess Jingyuan is... Okay, I, th I think CD is going to be way better because she's very straightforward. Just buff her and then you just see her like jump around, like, you know, don't let the opponent take stuns and stuff. But for Jingyan's case, I think it depends on the content as well because right now we are still probably in the earlier stages of the game. So maybe the small minions that are spawned, they're not very tanky and stuff, right? So maybe CD can, you know, kill one and then move on to do another one, get her buff going and stuff from there. But to me, I think Jingyan will be like the AoE attacker you will need in the long run. At least I'll say two, three months are down the road. So that's my opinion about Jingyan. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Then yeah, yeah, for, uh, I, I agree. Mm, then for like, okay, so for, okay, for maybe we have to discuss this from a perspective where um, if, if, if you are, we, we can't talk about whales, right? If you are whale, you can get everything. But if you are talking about like, okay, a perspective that now you only have, uh, let's say 300 pulls, 300 pulls, okay? So 300 pulls, how will you distribute and why? So I think that's a more because like you have limited pulls, right? So you you have to think about okay, do I want more of CD, like a higher chance of getting CD, and you know losing or winning at 50-50, or do I want to commit to one side? You know that kind of stuff. Mm -mm. Um, I think for three hundred pulls, it's roughly enough. Like, okay, if you're like super, super unlucky, it's roughly enough to get you Israel rank 1. Like, if you hard pity both, because that is like slightly more than 300. Because okay, like, light pity is. The reason why I say 300 is because right now, right, my account, I didn't pull on CD's banner. I spent all my resources uh, on the standard pools with all the yeah. tickets and stuff. And I have roughly about right. 170 to 80 pools. So maybe if I buy one pack, so on and so forth, I should be able to get 300. So that's where I get the number from. So yeah. And uh, we will just base it around right, this right. number, right? If you're completely free to play, I think you get way less than that. <laughs> but by the time Jingyuan uh, comes, you probably even can't... Like, if you spend everything on CD, you probably don't have enough for Jingyuan. So that's it. Yeah. Mm -mm. Um. Okay, I don't know. Uh, Because... Uh, I think that Sile is... um, Sile herself, I think she can function pretty well. Uh, even at E0, right? Uh, compared to, like what I mentioned earlier, I think Sile at E0 outperforms Jingyuan at E0. So, from that perspective, if you already have limited pulls, and if you are someone that doesn't really want to gamble with the luck and go for like multiple copies, uh, I think Sile will be like a safer choice because for that same amount of investment into, let's just say E0 plus the Light Cone weapon, I think Sile will just give you like a, a, a more enjoyable time, a smoother time when it comes to clearing the game's content. Uh, but for Jingyuan, uh, even at E0, uh, sorry, even at E1 and E2, I think it's not really even that strong because from what I've seen, his Eidolons, uh, Eidolons um, all his stuff at the earlier Eidolons, it, it doesn't really buff his Lightning God. It's on, the only crucial, crucial buff to the to, to Jingyuan's entire kit was at, is at E6, you know, where, where he marks the vulnerability buff, which increased the damage taken. So I think that's the biggest, biggest um, buff. The and if you compare Jingyuan at the, yeah, the Eidolons, is it? Yeah, I'm taking a look at yeah, so like, course, yeah, I'm, I'm not super familiar with the Eidolon, so I just want to confirm about it, okay? Mm. Right. Yeah, so I, from, what, from what I'm aware, like, uh, Jingyuan's uh, E6 is, is really like the game changer. And if you want to compare um, 
Jing Yuan E6 to C D E6. I think Jing Yuan's E6 is gonna give you a lot more. Cause Cilei's E6 is the is the butterfly effect thingy where she once once she casts the ultimate on the unit, the unit takes additional quantum damage. But um like I said, that that's only like to one single target, right? And it's only 15% of it of that amount. But Jing Yuan is just straight up like this uh huge AoE vulnerability debuff that is an like, increased damage taken, which everybody can just apply. So it just ramps up your whole team's I forgot what's the multiple, is it 35%? Um, it's up to 36. Okay, so we will base these Eidolons, right, off the website called Genshin GG, lah, right? Because, okay, now, right, this character right. is not released yet. They might change the Eidolons and maybe make it stronger mm -hmm. or even make it weaker along the way. So, uh, if it, you're talking about the E6 ability, right, you can go up to 36%, because mm -hmm. 12% per stack up to 3 stacks, so 36%. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why, that, just based on that Eidolon alone, uh, I think, um, is 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 the way way better than Cilei's E6 uh. but because your um the limitation to to this question is you only have 300 pulls right? and let's be mm. realistic I I really 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 doubt that you can get an E6 character with 300 pulls so mm, pulls because really of that hard. right I mm. think yeah I I think because of that and Jing Yuan really really only like gets to the next level at, at this 300 pulls uh not 300, at this like E6 so because of this uh limited resources I think it will be much better off for uh free play player or someone that only has 300 pulls to just you know like like, like screw it just get one copy of CD mm -hmm. at let's just say at, at worst 180 and then try your luck and just get Jingyun so with these 300 copies you can just enjoy both characters at the same time because honestly uh, while the light cones are really like amazing light cones right it's not like you can't play the game without the light cones because I mean at the end of the, but, the day if you, you play this you play Stario but I light yeah. cone is gonna be like quite game changing because like, yeah, 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 yeah. For sure, if, for right, sure. The current pool of illusion like cones and characters, right? They're just not very good. But Jing Yuan's one is like really next level. So like, you know, in the future, you don't know when they'll release more illusion units. So like this light cone and character is gonna... Because, okay, for specific characters, right? They might come back and they might co might not come back, right? So if you go by that, I think, okay, Jing Yuan's one is more valuable. Yeah, so that is that is if they don't come back. But if they do come back, yeah, I, I guess your point is definitely valid. Like maybe half of each. Yeah, so so that's that. But for myself, I will I'll still stick with my idea of going for Jing Yuan because um uh like like I'm I'm okay for me I'm lacking an illusion unit. So I feel that like the later contents like Forgotten Hall, Memory of Chaos, well it, it's really very difficult if you don't have um like a illusion unit to be really honest. Like there's like those stages where they spawn a lot of small minions, right? It's really hard to deal with. So I even have to invest in Serval, even though like I am gonna pull for Jing Yuan, right? But investing in Serval because I kinda need that little bit of AU to deal with the thing. So that's my thought. Like this AoE mm -hmm. class right now, they're just not very strong. So we cannot like I think Jing Yuan will either be like super meh or he'll be super game changing because Eudisha as a class that like I mentioned many times is just super weak. So if let's say now he's damn broken, right? He will be like this Eudition face character. So you think about Eudition, you think about him and you have to pull for him, right? But I also agree with you that um, like E0 and E1 ability for Jingyuan is kind of meh. Although, okay, I mean, to be honest, right? I, I just looked at the E0 and E1 kit. E1 is actually quite significant for him because it's 25% damage increase for his Lightning Lord's AoE attack. So, mm. yeah, so I, I do think that uh, like the the earlier stages of Eidolon comparison is kind of not valid because like for, for Jing Yuan's case, because like he's like an AoE attacker, but like he's, he's like Lightning Lord is sort of like a single target thing. So this 25% boost to the Lightning Lord's AoE ability, right, is going to be, I'll say, quite big like, in terms of him doing AoE damage in as a whole. Yeah, so that's for, for my thoughts. Mm, mm, mm. Mm. Then for... Um, yeah, I, I... Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Go sorry, ahead. sorry. So for for like Eidolon 2 and stuff, yeah, it's not that big. Like, I, I don't... Okay, based on what we have, I think Eidolon 2 is not that big. But for my case, I think 300 pulls... I don't know. I think we should go for like a min-max of the character. Maybe I'm playing the game wrong. Maybe you should be like, like your case right go for e0 of one and then uh e0 of another one so if multiple characters to try but like i, I think uh, we haven't seen a lot of players with like e6 characters to push the limits of the game right so okay maybe if you are if you are somebody like me i like to see like the max potential of the unit then i will go 300 on just one banner 
right? I'll just go 300 mm. on Tingyuan. But um, I can see why people will go for 300 Sile because like she's the current first banner. You can push some content for Memory of Chaos. But yeah, like like that's that. But a lot of things is very unsure about Tingyuan. Though I do like his design. So that's one reason why I'm super insistent on pulling for him as well. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I think I think the I I I greatly agree with this one thing that you made just now, which was basically erudition unit as a class is is just not in a very good spot. Yeah, because right now the only um five star we have is is Himiko and and she's let's just say she's not at a at a best situation right now. Well, the and the only other erudition, <laughs> yeah yeah, and the only other uh, uh erudition unit is Servo, the one that we get right. And yeah, she she gets the I guess you could say that she gets she's the job the done. Like she has one, AOE right? and yeah. if you. Yeah, yeah. Like she has the wave clear abilities. Like if you invest her to like level sixty ten stuff, she can definitely clear mobs for you. But uh, if you were to like pull for Jing Yuan, he he's completely like um direct outclass of of servo. It's like the same element and just does everything way better. So in that sense, um yeah, I, I agree that because um erudition pool is so weak, and if you pull Jing Yuan, you'll just straight up have a a much better time clearing content that requires you to use um erudition units. So yeah, I agree that that's the case, and. For the other case where um like for when it comes to whether you want to go all in for uh like min max one unit makes him see whether they can achieve their maximum potential, this kind of stuff. Uh yeah, uh if you're somebody that prefers to see like the big numbers that just see that one unit go go ham, just destroy everything, I think that's the really correct way to play. Uh but for me personally, I feel that um this game is not a game that can be can be run with everything just because of that one C6 unit. So for a very good example, let's just say right now if I have a C6 delay, right? Um, if I were to go ahead and do Memory of Chaos, for example, because of the way that the stage restri- restrictions work and you can you have to you basically have to run two teams, uh having this C6 delay, uh E6 delay will help you clear the first uh floor, but the second stage you will be left with like the scraps of the remaining team, like whatever you have, just gonna pull together and just see that hope that you can clear. Okay, and if you don't clear the second stage, you basically just don't clear one, the entire right? stage. Right? Yeah, I get it. I get yeah, it. yeah, yeah. So, so that's the situation I, I, I feel that I'm facing because right now I'm also facing a lack of uh, erudition unit, uh, because I'm also I'm 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 not really investing in servo because uh, I'm also pulling for chain unit. But it's just that I would rather just have a, a more diverse pool of characters that can be used in more situations. So when it, when the time comes, like for example, memory of, memory of chaos, I can just build two different teams. You know, one focus on Sile and then another one focus on Jigyuan and I can they can both just play with their strengths. Like which which of the enemy's mobs have, have more mobs and requires more AoE or which one is the one that's like way to counter, which one is way to lightning. So I can have, just have more tools to play with and customize to my needs. Whereas if I were to just like go all in for this one unit, right, it's, it, it kind of puts me in like this very awkward position where like it's I'm fixated to using this one unit and mm-hmm. even though it can clear the first part of the content, but the second part I'm forced to use like uh, sub-optimal team pairing because I don't have that one unit. So yeah, that's my thought process. Mm, I think you, I think you kind of convinced me on that. Maybe I should start pulling for CD <laughs> because she might not come okay. back, right? <laughs> that's good, that's good. Mm-hmm. Okay, so I, I do think, I do think that it's valid, like because we don't know. Okay, so I, I just barely reached Memory of Chaos. I don't know what the later part of Memory Chaos is like. Cause a lot of people they are carrying a Bronya CD combo. Cause these two together they literally push a lot of contents. But like I, I do want to see like okay if I get my Jingyuan, can I push even further with like a well built Jingyuan? Because maybe he's like this just one unit that you know he can just you have one of him and then like three of the other trash unit, but you can still clear the stage because okay, but you still need to survive, right? So you just need to make sure your unit survive and then he will do all the damage for you. So we shall see. I, I don't know how he will turn out because like there is a chance he could become weaker compared to CVT, right? There's also a chance he could become stronger. So we that part is something that we don't know, but it's something that. I I, I really hope to see because if let's say this can happen then look because by now okay because now we don't have like Jingyuan and the pool so we are investing in the units that we have so they are your strong units if you go to like memory of chaos stage one if let's say you have a very well built Jingyuan then Jingyuan and maybe like one or two other units that can break uh the enemies or even keep your team healthy like a healer like Pailu or something can be in team one because Pailu also lightning right then second team is basically all your strong units so that's where you can push through content from there but then like i see a lot of like memory of chaos videos from like bdb side as well as like the youtube side right they have like just basically every um every 
team has like one carry i'll say so like it's basically the idea is quite straightforward because now you cannot invest in every unit right because of the limited resources but for in this case then jing yuan will be the carry then he will be the carry that you will run in almost every team at least then the other thing will be like your second carry that you're probably investing right now because right now you want to push content you need at least one carry right for my case i'm using dunting then for your case you're using cd so that's one thing which uh like team building wise i don't think it's gonna be a big issue because if you have an aoe clearer that clears all the small mobs and like the damage this guy because jingyuan does like a massive single target damage so i'm not too worried about him not dealing with the boss too well it's just that i think i agree with you that maybe some stages he's not that good so my team flexibility could be a problem and that is something that i think a lot of people have to consider as well because treasure pool is on the fact that i'm gonna top up in the game right what if you are free to play so if you're free to play you're probably not gonna get like that 300 pools which i mentioned then maybe going for city now is definitely better so you push a bit you get a little bit of the free resources then when jing yuan come you you see whether or not you want to get one copy of him and then try to see whether or not he can splash into your team itself yeah, so so that's for like the moc part but then again then again i think okay right now okay, this this is something that's not part of the jing yuan and city discussion it's like the content right now right is quite limited <laughs> i think i don't know whether or not we thought about it Poki, yeah. but like once you reach like the moc part like it feels like there's nothing much to do right so in the future do you think will there be like a content where like aoe units erudition units in general they will shine so this is like a digress portion do you think there will be uh okay honest to god i've never played any miho games in my entire life this is literally my my, my first miho game i, I never played genshin i never played uh, hong kai impact yeah so i have no expectations no whatsoever for the developers to come up with something new so <laughs> I, I really can't say but i think just from like a game game designer perspective uh i think it, it would be quite natural to always include more stages where other roles of the unit shine because if not what's the what's the point of like making those classes right because mm -hmm. right now with the now more the, Dude, i think the, the highest number everything. of mobs that we see right like, now is four yeah everything is the hunt right sorry now, like, like everything in the game yeah is yeah like yeah, the yeah, hunt, yeah so it feels very weird yeah mm -mm -mm. like because right now like even for mobs the mobs the they are, they are like the mini mobs that the boss summons the hp is so small that uh, CD can just kill them in like one hit and then go back to the to the mobs. So like there there really isn't a point in running irradiation unit <laughs> yeah, when right. CD is doing whatever. Yeah, yeah. I agree. But I, agree. I, I can see that next time in the future. Um, uh, I think a very good example is uh Savrock. I think Savrock he second phase he summons these two pretty bulky dudes. Uh, that can't really be one shot by CD. Japan so I think in the future if yeah. they implement some. Mm -mm, yeah. So yeah, yeah, Japan as well at the, the final phase. So in the future if they implement more of these mobs that like CD can't deal with, I think a a whole ass character that is dedicated to clearing these big boys like like Jing Yuan, I think that's where they will shine more. And I really don't think that um it's uh it's a very far fetched reality. Cause if not like everybody's just gonna keep running city, then like there's no point yeah, des right. designing these new units. Yeah. That's that's true. Cause <laughs> yeah, yeah, I yeah. can see how Okay, so like I even let's say like like I also think it, there will definitely be like a content which Erudition can shine one day if not like basically Sealy is doing what Erudition is supposed to do yeah, yeah, like, yeah if they exactly. don't introduce that game mode then like everybody is going to invest in Sealy why will you need like Erudition class as a whole so that's that okay uh, the digress is back so I think the video is a little long let us uh, draw a conclusion so right, okay right, sure I personally right okay this part is super impromptu I, I haven't thought of okay why uh how how should we end it but let's just end this part of the video by saying our thoughts on whether or not uh, you should go for Jingyuan or whether or not you should go for CD as a concluding statement from the both of us so I'll let you start first mm. okay to uh for people with the ability to get both at E0 I'm on, the, I'm, I'm on that camp. If you can get both at E0, go for both at E0. But if you are in a situation where you can't even get a single one at E0, then right now, based on the content that I'm seeing and I'm playing, I will get c at E0. Yeah, so that's my concluding statement. Great, so my concluding statement will be, uh, I think if you if you are in the camp like myself, they feel that Erudition is very weak. And if Jingyuan, you feel, because Jingyuan is definitely going to be a game changer for Erudition, right? I feel that there'll be more stuff that Erudition can do in the future, then you can save up and prepare for Jingyuan. But if, let's say, you feel that, you know, 
Jing Yan is just gonna be like a man unit and you, you don't really like his kit or his design or anything, then CD is more than enough to push you, right? Whatever current contents has to offer, like Pokey mentioned. So that will be the thoughts for this one. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this uh short podcast. All right, so it's a very impromptu one. So thank you very much, Mr. Pokey, for joining me. All right, if you guys like such contents, do remember to like, subscribe, and comment and let us know what topics you guys want to see us discuss in the next podcast. And I will see you guys again in my next video. Bye guys. Bye-bye.